Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing tonight? Welcome to a new episode of Phenomenal Views. Of course, you all know my good buddy Russell over here. Hey. We just got done watching Justice League 2017. This movie has been anticipated for years, for yep. decades. Mm -hmm. It has been mm -hmm. it has been planned, it has been canceled. We get Zack Snyder and we got what we see before mm -hmm. you. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and get the good stuff that I liked first. Yeah. Good stuff. Just give me a minute. Wonder Woman. Awesome. Loved. I absolutely loved Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. This movie does really good with tying in uh, the other films with, mm -hmm. uh, well, the other films like Man of Steel, Wonder Woman, and Batman vs. Superman. Does a great job. Yeah. I love Ben Affleck as Batman. He returns and does an amazing job. Yeah, yep. He is, I really think he is like the best uh, one of the best Batman ever. And actually, mm -hmm. I found out that recently the Batman film he wants to make is The Dark Knight Returns. I don't know if they're ever going to do that. I mean, we did get that in uh, Batman vs. Superman. That's another topic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another thing I liked, I loved Aquaman. Mm -hmm. Aquaman is great in this film. He has good banter with both Batman and with Wonder Woman. Yep. He has good action scenes. I really mm -hmm. like his character, mm -hmm. how they betray him. I really do like it. Yeah. Alfred. Alfred. Yes. I love I love the guy who plays Alfred. I love his banter, not only between him and Bruce, yep. but a lot of the other things that he says, uh, a lot of the jokes that he makes, especially especially when he uh, when he makes a joke to there, there's a joke in the movie yeah. where he says to Diana, Oh, it looks like you've got a date. Well it's about sometime someone in this house got one. <laughs> I was like, that is hilarious. I love the guy who plays Alfred. He does mm -hmm. a great job. Yep. Now onto the bad. Things I hated. Flash. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I. They ruined him. Okay. Another thing I didn't like. This movie is horribly cut. It, it and you can you mm. can tell there now there are times I honestly couldn't tell. Mm. But after talking with one of my friends after we walked out of the movie, he explained where things were cut. And now after pointing that out, I can see there was supposed to be like an extra thirty to forty minutes. Yep. This is not what Zack Snyder wanted. Nope. A lot of the stuff that he wanted was taken out. Yep. And I am hoping that when this comes out on DVD, mm -hmm. they put all that stuff in there because yep. I want to see the complete version of this film. I yep. want to see what Zack Snyder wanted to do. Exactly. There's probably more development time in it. There's, yeah. I think that I've actually, someone posted on Facebook that there is actually his script on Facebook. Hmm. So I might actually go and read that. Hmm. <sighs> Mm. Why are you guys doing this? Why are you cutting so freaking much? Don't make a movie and release half of it and they're like, oh, it's okay. They'll get what they really want coming out like a few months later. No, don't do that because that's not going to want us, that's not going to make us want to buy the film. That's going to make us not to want buy the film. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Back to the flash. They ruined him, they ruined him, they ruined him. I don't know if it was the actor or if it was the dialogue I or, or, both, or, or but both, but the Flash is the most irritating thing about this movie, and I am pretty sure this is not based on the New 52. I don't think it is Because either. at least in the New 52, he's already a forensics analyst. Flash is a mm -hmm. forensics analyst. He's not on the grid, yep. or, or he's not not on the grid. He's not running. He's not hiding. He nope. is a forensics analyst. Mm -hmm. exactly. And I understand why they could not get the original actor from yep. the Flash TV show because yep. that would make things complicated and they'd be like, oh, well, what's the real universe? And he already has a contract, too. Yeah, he does. I, I understand that, but mm -hmm. the way how he runs is horrible. It is. Oh, it's not good proper. gosh. No, it is not. It, it is not. He has, like, maybe one or two jokes that I thought was legitimately yeah. funny. Yeah. And that was His, it. His timing is wrong. Yep. He's awkward. Yep. Which I guess Barry is supposed to be some awkward, but not to this extent. Yeah. And he's already supposed to be a forensics analyst yeah. before he joins the Justice League, exactly. at least from what I know of. Yeah. From what I know of, he's already supposed to have that as a job. Exactly. <sighs> He just really felt unnecessary. He was useful he maybe, what, three to four times in this movie? Yeah, basically. He saved some kids, which actually they had a little bit of a funny banter between him and Superman. Yeah. 
Uh, he brought Superman back to life. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. another thing. Yeah. <sighs> and I, 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 I do understand that if they did yeah. the proper Superman Returns, that is going to take multiple films. But yeah, a lot of and when, and when I say a lot of the stuff was cut out, some of the stuff that's in the trailers is not in this movie. Apparently, Superman was supposed to have that black suit that yeah. he wears when he comes back from the dead. He's not as strong as he was. He also said he. I heard also he's supposed to have a beard too. He didn't have that. He's supposed to have longer hair. Uh, no. He he might have had to have a beard. I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch Superman Doomsday. But yeah. he's supposed to wear this suit because it is supposed to help him absorb the the like the the rays of like the stars and the moon. Helps him. It's called the solar suit. Is what I think it's called. Mm. And he's not supposed to be as strong as he is now. Although the fight between when he fights everyone in the Justice League is great, yeah. especially when he quotes Batman, mm -hmm. "Tell me, do you bleed?" Yeah. I was like, "Okay, <laughs> that 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 is good." Yeah. You see, just to go back on the Flash for a moment, I think if they went a little bit more into his, like at least if you changed, like the version we got here. Not Flash. I don't count that as Flash. Uh, I don't either. I don't even. I don't. I really don't even like the costume. No, I don't. I, I don't like the costume. I don't. It's too much of the first Injustice. And outfit. and there's also a joke. There's a running gag about brunch. Uh, I don't. Forget I don't that. know either. But all I'm saying is that if you made the character in from the movie a little older, and his backstory was fleshed out more, maybe like give him a little more experience. Yeah. Then my and then I, and give him an actual sense of humor. Yeah. It would have been much better, but yeah. yeah. So okay, let's talk about Stephen Wolf. I felt he was throw, a throwaway bad guy for the most part. I didn't mind the actor, but whenever I yeah. see the character of Stephen Wolf, the only person like I, I kept getting images and I kept saying, "That's Shinnok from Mortal Kombat." Yep. No, 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 that is legitimately shit off from Mortal Kombat. Pointy mm. head, or po pointy horns, or whatever. I was like, that is definitely shit off from Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. This, and whenever he was doing the stuff he was doing, I was like, so when is Raiden going to be coming down and yep. screaming, I challenge you to Mortal Kombat, or this has to stop? Yep. I was just waiting for Raiden to just teleport down. I'm like, stop, shit <laughs> Oh. Wrong movie. Wrong movie. <laughs> but, and I I don't know that much about Justice League, really. Yeah. All I know, really, is stuff about Batman, Superman, a little bit of got about Green Lantern. Oh, which we did get a reference to Green Lantern. Yes, we did. That was good. I, I was really glad that they, that they did mm -hmm. that. Um, I would have honestly preferred him over the Flash, yeah, but, but, you know, winners can't, over cyborg, loser, you know but... winners can't be choosers. Yeah. <sighs> I didn't really mind Stephen Wolf, and I did like how they did the flashback with showing like how the Amazonians and um, Atlantis teamed yeah. together. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. They did kind of show that he was a somewhat force to be reckoned with, yeah. where he didn't like retreating. He didn't want to retreat. It was his own crew who made him retreat. And mm -hmm. this backstory that Wonder Woman gives us, I really do kind of feel like it. It did make us feel like okay, yeah. this guy, this is serious. And I can understand how you think he's, uh, yeah. how you can see he, how he's kind of a throwaway villain. He kind yeah. of is because he doesn't really do that much. Yeah. But also at the same time, he's really kind of not supposed to be. Yeah. From from uh, this is um, information simplified um, simplified by my friend. Basically, uh, Stephen Wolf is supposed to basically kind of okay, like you know, like in I can't believe I'm referencing that this movie exists. Uh, in Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, like how yeah. Silver Surfer would basically come out and make the plant available for Galactus. Yeah. That's basically kind of what Steph Wolf is supposed to do. Uh, That's a, what my friend basically said. And like the cubes, the, the mother boxes, boxes are yeah. supposed to kind of like give him the ability to teleport down there. Okay. I, I guess they did reference Darkseid once, but apparently yeah, this movie once. also has a bunch of other Darkseid references. Mm -hmm. I, we're going to go back to my apartment. We're going to go watch all the trailers because there was a buttload of stuff cut out. Yep. And yep. Yep. it does sound like yep. I did not enjoy this film, but besides Flash talking and them doing... I will mention one more thing, though. Hmm. I think Cyborg was a little bit more of an exposition character, in my opinion. Oh, um, yeah, that was another thing I forgot. Yeah. Uh, they do this whole entire thing where Cyborg is kind of supposed to... You know, like, you know, like the kind of, like... 
bringing back from someone from the dead in a monstrous way, yeah. you know, kind of like that. Yeah. That that arc, but they don't really do anything with it. It's, they, they, they just acknowledge that it's there, and then he eventually then saves his dad, and then it's yeah. all all is well, all yeah. is well apparently. Yeah, I did like how they did give Cyborg his kind of abilities, like like he's yeah. able to like work with technology. Yeah. I did like that, and I did like how they were like how he was learning how to yeah. work with his new body and control his abilities. Mm -hmm. I did like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I did think that maybe his deliverance on some lines could have been a little better. Yeah. Yeah, but other yeah. than that, he didn't bother me that much. No. Overall, I like I said earlier in the beginning of this review, I'm going to give Justice League a B minus. I am hoping that we get a full version on DVD because that would have clearly been a whole lot better than what we got here. Yeah, I'd give it a B minus too. Yeah, I mean it's a movie that I would honestly go go see with your friends. Yeah. I, I mean. Yeah. It also feels a little bit too Avengersy. Yeah, it does. Too they just need Marvel. to. They just need to take their time. Yeah, yeah, Marvel is several steps ahead of them. That's uh, okay. Yeah, you can take time to do things differently. Yeah, don't. I'm like, you can take some points, but don't be like, guys, we have gotta rush this. We've gotta get our own movie. Marvel exactly. is kicking our butts. No, you know what you do? It's kind of like when you're losing in a uh, exactly. in a basketball game. My coach would be like, go show them what they're gonna have to deal with next time. Take your time. Plan things out. Exactly. Unless there's like something we don't know about the film industry but like you gotta have this out in a certain amount of time uh -huh. I don't know now we're gonna talk about something I was so happy to see spoilers on this spoilers Deathstroke oh yes Death freaking Stroke. Deathstroke that was the highlight the highlight of this entire movie and it's at the very very the very, very end. end we do get Jesse Eisenberg reprising his role as Lex Luthor although he he to me he kind of seemed like he maybe toned things down a little bit a little bit not with like the little, craziness yeah. but it does help that they do yeah they do bring Deathstroke and I was like freaking Deathstroke yes, yes! And like they actually have him take off his mask, yeah. and I like the actor. I don't know who it is. Yeah, I don't know. But who I do either. like how they already have he's missing the eye, which that's actually supposed to be appropriate. Yeah, and now how he has his, his cost. Hair yeah, his stuff. costume looks amazing. Yeah, it which, looks like the Arkham Origins version. It kind of does, and I'm hoping that we actually do get a Batman movie, and it is Batman versus Deathstroke. Mm -hmm. I would love that, mm -hmm. guys. If anything, go watch this movie for a few other reasons. The, the casting in this movie is really good. The yeah. banter between most of the characters besides The Flash is good. Mm -hmm. I would go watch this movie. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to go watch it. I, I might go watch it again. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean maybe. Yeah. But the one of the main highlights of this movie is Deathstroke. Yeah. I would stick. I would. St I definitely go stick around to go watch that. Oh yeah. Also, there is a funny race between Flash and Superman. Yeah. Which. Flash is supposed to be faster than Superman, but they do show that, that they are even. Yeah. Although, that makes me think of a scene in Smallville when they race. Yeah, and like, it does. He turns around it like does. and like he just runs yeah. faster. I was like, uh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Put in the comments below, what did you think of Justice League? Have you seen it? Who's your favorite character? What did you think about The Flash? What do you yeah. think about the things they're setting up for? What do you think about Deathstroke? We really want to know. Guys, I hope you are having a good day. Be sure to bundle up. It is getting colder, and I hope you guys have a very Merry Thanksgiving. <laughs> have a good night, guys.